Hello friends, this video on neat dual nature of radiation and matter is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now it is time for MCQs. Let us try to solve different types of MCQs and see uh, how do we need to handle them. Question number one. When a metallic surface is illuminated with radiation of wavelength lambda, the stopping potential is V. If the same surface is illuminated with radiation of wavelength 2 lambda, the stopping potential is V by 4. The threshold wavelength for the metallic surface is. Okay, so here, so this question talks about two scenarios which link stopping potential with wavelength. So we need to make use of the photoelectric equation of that form which links stopping potential with wavelength. So we have seen that E V naught where V naught is the stopping potential is equal to maximum kinetic energy which is equal to H C by lambda minus phi. So here V naught is the stopping potential and lambda is the wavelength right so we will make use of this equation for both the cases so in case one what what is in case one it says that radiation of wavelength lambda the stopping potential is v right so stopping potential is v and radiation is of wavelength lambda so this is hc by lambda minus phi so what is phi phi is work function which can be written as hc by lambda naught where lambda naught is the threshold wavelength because threshold wavelength is the one that we need to calculate right so it is important that we write it somewhere so we write phi as hc by lambda naught perfect so this is my equation one okay now let us write the equation for case 2 now in case 2 it says that if it is the same surface which is illuminated with radiation of wavelength 2 lambda and stopping potential v by 4 so this would become e v by 4 is equal to hc by lambda instead of lambda we will write 2 lambda minus hc by lambda naught right so now here with simple little uh, bit of calculation what we can do is we can send this 4 to the right hand side so this 4 will get multiplied to this entire thing so this would become 4 hc by 2 lambda minus 4 hc by lambda naught so 2 to the 4 now this is our equation 2 so now if you compare equation 1 and equation 2 you see that their left hand sides are the same so we can directly equate the right hand side so therefore what we do we equate right hand side of equation 1 and 2 so what do we get we get hc by lambda minus hc by lambda naught is equal to 2 hc by lambda minus 4 hc by lambda naught so this is what we get so now let's take the lambda naughts on one side and lambdas on one side so we can write it as 4 hc by lambda naught minus hc by lambda naught is equal to 2 hc by lambda minus hc by lambda or this can be written as 3 hc by lambda naught is equal to hc by lambda so hc hc will get cancelled therefore lambda naught is equal to 3 lambda so 3 lambda would be the value of the threshold wavelength so c is the right option question number two when a light beam of frequency nu is incident on a metal surface, photoelectrons are emitted. If these electrons describe a circle of radius r in a magnetic field of strength b, then the work function of the metal is. Okay, so here again, first let us uh, make use of the photoelectric equation. Now, if we make use of the photoelectric equation, it says that the maximum kinetic energy is equal to E minus phi, where E is the energy of the incident radiation. Now, in this question, it says that the light beam of frequency nu. So, that means energy of the incident radiation would be H nu minus phi. Now, our next challenge is to find out what would be the maximum kinetic energy of the electrons. Now, the question tells that the electrons describe a circle of radius r in a magnetic field of strength b. 
right so let's say that these are the electrons so they actually move in a circular path like this right and the radius of the circular path is r so what we can say we can say that the centripetal force of these electrons because since the, the electrons are able to move in a circular path that means the centripetal force which is mv square by r would be equal to the force under the influence of the magnetic field b that is q into v into b right so this is what we have learned from our knowledge of the magnetic field right so th these two forces would be equal correct so from here we can say that v square now see v square and v so this v and v square would get cancelled so we will be left with v so v would be equal to r q b divided by m so this would be the value of v correct okay because v is something which is not given in the problem so we will have to write v in terms of the values which are given in the problem like r is given b is given so all these things are given correct okay. so we have written v in terms of these now if you have to find out what would be the maximum kinetic energy so kinetic energy is always equal to half mv square so this can be written as half m into v square so this v square would be r square into q square into b square divided by m square right now this m and this square will get cancelled so kinetic maximum kinetic energy would be 1 by 2m into r q b whole square so this would be k max now let us put this in photoelectric equation so we can say that k max which is 1 by 2m r q b whole square is equal to h nu minus 5 so in this problem we need to find out the work function so here work function is 5 so 5 is equal to h nu minus 1 by 2m into r q b whole square so what is q q is nothing but charge on the electron so which can be written as e so this is equal to h nu minus 1 by 2m here m is nothing but mass of the electron into b e r whole square so this would be our work function so which is the correct option b question number 3 light of wavelength lambda a and lambda b falls on two identical metal plates a and b respectively okay the maximum kinetic energy of the photoelectrons is ka and kb respectively then which one of the following relation is true okay so as per the photoelectric equation we know that maximum kinetic energy is equal to e minus phi right if we have to write it in terms of wavelength because here in this question it talks in terms of wavelength so e can be written as hc by lambda minus phi right now here we are talking about two plates so first let us talk about plate a so for plate a kinetic energy that is ka would be equal to hc by lambda a minus phi and what about plate b for plate b kb will be equal to hc by lambda b minus phi now why is phi the same that's because it says that these are two identical metal plates now identical metal plates means that the nature of the material would be same and work functions value depends on the nature of the material right so this is how it is now let us see how can we write ka in terms of kb so ka can be written as hc divided by 2 lambda b minus phi that's because in the problem it is given that lambda a is equal to 2 lambda b so this is how we can write it now let's take 1 by 2 common so we will have hc by lambda b minus 2 phi correct now what can we write hc by lambda b so from this equation we can say that hc by lambda b is equal to kb plus phi right so we write the same thing here so here we can write it as half into kb plus phi minus 2 phi so this can be written as half into kb minus phi 
right now if you look at this equation ka is equal to half of kb minus phi so this 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 equation very clearly shows that the value of ka is something which is obtained by subtracting something from kb right so this very clearly shows that this is equal to half kb minus phi by 2 so this phi by 2 is some constant which needs to be subtracted from half kb to get ka Correct. So this shows that Ka is definitely less than half Kb. Correct. Because from half Kb, only when you subtract something, you get Ka. Correct. So from half Kb, you have to reduce something to get Ka, which shows that half Kb is greater than Ka. So this is the relation that we obtain. So we can say that A is the correct option. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.